Not long after I came to America, I was exposed to the narrative that the Democrat Party was the party of the little guy and the only party with genuine care and compassion for the average American. Fortunately, because I grew up under a dictatorship, I could not be easily fooled by socioeconomic shackles masquerading as compassionate public policy. The truth is, there is no compassion like Democrat compassion. It is the kind of compassion that lets people shoot illicit drugs into their bodies with the government's assistance. It is a kind of compassion that sees assisted suicide as a moral virtue. Democrat compassion is a kind of compassion that lets you rob the innocent and hardworking businesses in your neighborhood and walk out with impunity with no fear of prosecution. Democrat compassion is a kind of compassion that tells vulnerable women it is their right to abort and sacrifice their unborn children on the perverted altar of female empowerment and convenience. Democrat compassion is a kind of compassion that tells children they were born in the wrong body and encourages and subsidizes their mutilation. Democrat compassion is the kind of compassion that lets boys unfairly compete against girls, take their records, their opportunities, and their scholarships, and invade their private spaces, turning back decades of hard-fought gains and progress. Democrat compassion is a kind of compassion that allows homeless people to defecate on sidewalks and sleep in tents in public parks while watching them as they abuse drugs and suffer through mental illness. Democrat compassion is a kind of compassion that tells independent contractors that they don't have a right to choose how and when they work in the name of protecting them from big bad corporations. It is a kind of compassion that raises the minimum wage by government fiat and takes the earnings of fast food workers from $15 an hour to zero in a single day. Democrat compassion is a kind of compassion that restricts the Second Amendment rights of law-abiding citizens, leaving them vulnerable to the criminals their compassion let out of prison with their no-bail policies. Democrat compassion is a kind that secures the borders of Ukraine and leaves the American border wide open, allowing unvetted illegal immigrants to wreak havoc on small towns and big cities alike, and allowing drug cartels to kill 100,000 Americans each year with the poison of fentanyl. Democrat compassion is a kind of compassion that forces millions of Americans to close their businesses and to take experimental vaccines under the threat of losing their jobs and their livelihood. It is a kind of compassion that praises Antifa as freedom fighters and raids the homes of pastors and churchgoers at dawn because they protested at the doors of abortion clinics. Democrat compassion is a kind that weaponizes the justice system against political opponents while claiming to be defending democracy. Democrat compassion is a kind of compassion that colludes with social media companies to censor Americans and limit their constitutional freedoms. Democrat compassion is the kind that tells minorities they cannot succeed without government handouts and without having the standards lowered for them. It is a kind of compassion that tells black people they are too dumb to obtain IDs to vote. But if they manage to do that, they are not black if they don't vote Democrat. I think America has had it with Democrat compassion. It has destroyed once beautiful cities, left poverty and economic devastation in its wake everywhere it's been applied, and created a generation of voters so bereft of critical thinking skills that they so easily fall prey to a profound level of cunning and cynicism that enables them to vote blue, no matter who, against their own interests. As an immigrant and a new American voter, I promise you this. I would much rather endure the uncertainty and the often difficult realities of life under the pragmatic principles of conservatism than acquiesce one inch to the depravity of morally bankrupt policies cloaked in the robes of compassion but designed to keep Americans mentally subjugated, economically shackled, and emotionally weak. This November, we have to defeat Democrat compassion at the polls because our beloved country cannot endure four more years of this nightmare. If I were to give the Democrat Party a slogan, it will be this. Democrats, misguided compassion, real destruction.